guys, what's up? This is Noah Siegel here with Frank Parra. What's going on, guys? Pleacho Parra. We're gonna take you through a little chest routine today. Uh, something a little different, something you don't normally see. And give you a couple exercises to really pump you up. Let's do it. My name is Christina Larson and I'm getting ready to just warm up my shoulders. And then this is beautiful. Anna Sarah Dubtova and we're gonna show some exercises uh, for our shoulders today. Yeah. yeah. And so and we always have hair and makeup done when we work. For the out. workout, yeah, yes. always. And that's <laughs> the only way to do it. Here I'm just gonna work with what I have, which is some dumbo. So I'm gonna do about 15 of these. Well, I guess she's training me today because yeah. my routine looks a little bit different, but I'll just go yeah. with this girl because I you don't want to argue with her. No. no, that's fine. I'll just do whatever she says. I just got a new she's trainer. She's a client because she does whatever you tell her. I don't think you need it though. I can buy you. <laughs> well, if you need any help, just let me know. I'm sure you can go up with the weight because you look like. I usually put my hand right there just because think about how many times you accidentally drop your cell phone or anything. <laughs> so, and that pretty face does not need to drop no, a dumbbell. Not at all. So we're gonna get a little warm up first with some dumbbells, very lightweight. You don't want to get right into it and start lifting heavy, and that's when you pull muscle. I'm just squeezing it up. This weight's nothing for me, but just to get moving. And also, another key too is never burn out when you're doing a warm up. I'm never stress out your CNS, but again, it's a warm up. You don't want to burn out. Same thing, concentrating on the chest, squeezing, trying to get the upper chest into my chin. Which way the weight is supposed to go? Your chest is gonna follow it. Concentrate on the chest, not the shoulders. What I can also do is twist it up right there to have it not a contract my muscle up and twist this at the same time up. And I give you that extra contraction. You can see everything you try here. Yeah. The thing about being lean right here. You actually see all the muscles that he's working on. The striations going on. Well, to let you the freak of nature. I usually go a little slower on the negatives, but we're knocking it out fast. Hi, I'm Christina Larson, and this is. Hi, and I'm Anna Saraduktova, and uh. Say that three times really fast. No, I can't. I hate <laughs> I hate to say my name, okay? So okay. don't make me do it again. My last name this is one ridiculous. More time, please. Yeah, just call me Anna. <laughs> <laughs> So um, we're both with Optimum Nutrition, and Anna's actually brand new to the team. So this yeah, is been perfect. A few months. Yeah. So um, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Russia, and uh, but I live in New York for six years. I'm from Kansas, and I went to New York once. I lost my uh, camera, uh, some of my Mac lip gloss, and you know how I feel about Mac. Yes. This is Noah Siegel from uh, Queens, New York. I'm here uh, in Las Vegas with Team Optimum Nutrition. Uh, shooting, obviously, today for Soldier Nation. Uh, I've been in with Optimum for almost two years now, and uh, you know, fitness is just a, a huge part of my life. Uh, I've been training since I'm 14 years old. Uh, I swam on the United States swimming circuit at 14, trained until I was 22 in the pool. We were doing 8, 10 miles a day. After that, I stopped and I started getting into weight training and uh, eventually it led me here. Uh, got signed by Team Optimum and uh, everything kind of grew from there. What's up, guys? Frank Fader from New York, Bronx, New York, as you can tell from my accent. Um, I've been on fitness game since I was 16 years old. Like most kids, I joined the local gym with a couple of my buddies, started lifting heavy weights, didn't know what I was doing. I kind of picked up as I was going along. And then uh, I met a buddy in the gym who was like, you know, you guys, you should actually think about becoming a personal trainer. Got my cert, became personal trainer. From there, I decided to compete. And uh, while I was on the competing circuit, I got signed by Optimum. 
and then I've met these guys like Noah and Kalechi and learned a ton of stuff from these guys and it's just been a great run for me. Kalechi Opara, um, uh, former United States Marine, I uh, got a couple of years ago, uh, several years ago I should say. Um, well, I've been out, I've been with Optimal Nutrition since 2011. Uh, I live in Brooklyn. Well, but it, it doesn't really matter because I do all my shopping um, in advance for like a week or two weeks, okay. and like I okay. talk my fridge, and then I prep all my meals for at least three, four days, so I have it all ready because with the this kind of lifestyle, you know, I never eat out. If I get them ready for the competition, I never eat uh, anything that I don't cook. I always have three, four meals with me, regardless when I just leave my apartment, because it's really important for me to get all my meals on time, and I eat every two and a half, three hours, and uh, you know, just to keep my metabolism high, and I weigh my food all the time. So it's like, it's a, it's a process, you know, it's a lot of work, it's really, time consuming so that's why I think uh, I just got so used to it and it doesn't really matter where you live you know you mm -hmm. can always find um, you know nice organic meat and you know vegetables and everything that's what so I make sure that I always have oatmeal vegetables um, sweet potato rice and meat I definitely say like where I grew up um, there's like 400 people and so the grocery store was an hour away and so I got in the habit myself um, going to the grocery store just once a week and we would plan all our meals as a family and do all that stuff so it's nice and it doesn't, I don't know, when I moved to the city in Kansas City it's been really nice to um, already have, have those, yeah, already have those habits yeah, because where I love it, you could easily go to the grocery store every day and walk in and probably be tempted by like, you know, whatever's sitting there. But I go once a week, just the same as you, and uh, get my groceries and stuff like that. So actually, no matter where you live, you can do that. I usually work out and uh, around like afternoon, like 12.30, okay. 1, nice. and, uh, or in the morning. Lately, I mean, you know, it's like it's really nice to get it out of the way at the big, like, you know, where one at the beginning of the day, and then you know, they help all day for yourself. And I usually do six days a week and uh, work out at like two thirty or three o'clock in the morning. And I used to not tell people about that because. I myself thought I was weird, but um, yeah. Well, I think that it's weird. So, but I like to work <laughs> it is out, weird. And get it done. <laughs> Where do you sleep? When do you sleep? <laughs> well, you're in a business, so that kind of is the biggest part of it. And most of my clients come in around five o'clock in the morning. Um, so I own a personal training studio and train uh, all like CEOs, executives of companies, and things like that. So. Um, train a few professional football players and things like that, so believe it or not. <laughs> and uh, so anyways, my clients are in early before their um, business begins, and I'm the same way. I'm in early before my business starts hopping, and it works really well. I don't know, I think it's a combination of reading too many comic books, maybe. Just say like, hey, you know, I want to look like a superhero. I was tired of being skinny, and, and uh, nobody was dropping. Nobody was going to drop a gamma bomb so I could turn into the Hulk. And I missed my chance to be born on Krypton and get shot with a rocket to Earth. So I was like, you know what? I might as well go to the gym and pick up a, bar a barbell. You know, that's the, that's the next best thing. So that's probably why. <laughs> I actually have uh, my own clothing line out now, uh, siegefitness.com. And we're actually doing fantastic. Everybody's picking up the gear. So it's been great. Uh, Optimum Nutrition is helping me out a ton. Bodybuilding.com is helping me out. And of course, Steve Cook. Steve's the man. Uh, Soldier Nation. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I also have I'm um, the founder of Aesthetics Army, which is uh, an Instagram page. It started as a, a small shout out page, and it's at 64,000 followers now. We have some gear too. I have uh, t shirts. This one with a cool saying on the back. And we have uh, an original Fight for Fit t-shirt that's been selling really good. And uh, we got some cool other stuff coming, like some dog tags. And I want to thank Steve also for having us here film. And uh, Steve has uh, you know, been a great mentor of mine too at, uh, on Optimum Nutrition. We're always talking, he's always giving me tips. And uh, he's happy to be here. And hopefully you get some more footage from you got from me and Noah and maybe Kalechi in the future. Thanks guys. As you said, it's, uh, we, have, we all have like really active and active 
the lives and it's really it's good to have some motivation from the side sometimes you don't want to go to the gym sometimes you don't want to get up in the morning and you know do what you have to do and you just and go to some Instagram see and see the Christy yeah, you know, you see the ripped ripped body and she's like, already she working <laughs> out and you're like damn I gotta do that too and you just <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. you have to feed off of each other because there's like they say it's like fitness people are 0.05 percent of the world, so we're not the norm. Although we feel like we are normal, but we think we think that we are normal. Yeah, but we are not. not. No. So it's it is. I do feed off of those around me and stuff like that when my clients are. I just had a client text me today that. Her clients have noticed, she's an eye doctor or whatever, her clients are noticing how successful she's been and how good she feels about that. So, I mean, that same thing goes That's for That's the us. best motivation you can yeah. get, I think. Yeah, it's, it's that positive. Awesome. Yes. It's awesome. Perfect. <laughs> nice, Wizzy, nice. Yeah. Oh, woo, nice. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> That's the who exercise. I'm gonna have to call it the who exercise. I think that's uh, that's pretty much a wrap on our uh, little chess exhibition today. Yeah. So uh, again, Kalicho Para, uh, Noah, Siege Fitness, Frank, Frank Feta, Aesthetics Army, Feta Fit, of course, Team Optimum Nutrition, Swole Donation, and uh, whatever else you want. Let me plug something real quick. There we go. Oh, you got enough plugs in there. Definitely, the definitely need to check this out. And you, uh, other people out there, check out my app, Nutritionist. It's for a diet and for any kind of, want to gain muscle, want to lose fat, want to lose fat rapidly. This app does it all. The name of the app is Nutritionist for Androids and iPhones alike. I use the app. I use the app also. I use the app. Yeah. Great app. Uh, so I think uh, really that's it from yeah. all of us here. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. And stay tuned because we got a lot more coming for you. Thanks, guys. Sword is out. Out.